baby. Mm. I'm sorry I woke you up. I couldn't sleep. And I don't know, baby. I just, I just wanted you here with me. I I had a nightmare and yeah I I woke up and then now I'm having trouble going back to bed because mm, <laughs> my mind is just like full and I just needed you I I love you, baby. Oh, the nightmare. Um. So you know how recently I watched that movie in theaters, um, Evil Dead Rise. Um. Yeah, I I. I, you know, like, it, I, I, the, 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 the movie has been on my mind for, like, a day now. I had a nightmare that you were, like, possessed by the demon, and then I, I lost you. Hmm. Yeah, uh, in the movie, if you're possessed and um, you're like gone, there's no saving you if you're possessed. So. Yeah, it's not even like the, the the spooky scenes stay with me or you know or nothing like that. It's just the 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 thought of. Losing you is so scary to me. I just... I don't know. It... It... It haunts me, you know? Yeah. Also... It is very cold tonight. I don't know why. I think the AC is... Yeah, I think I... I turned it down real low. That's kind of my fault, but... <laughs> that just means that you have to cuddle me to bed. Even though... Yeah, I woke you up at 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby. You, you were sleeping, and I just didn't know what else to do. I've been sleeping not so great for the past few days, and I don't know. I just thought that having you here would help me, you know? Just, yeah, I know, it's silly, don't, yeah. Can I get under your shirt? Yeah, I mean, you're wearing my t-shirt and even though I'm tiny myself, all my t-shirts are huge. Yeah, I mean, you're wearing like a size XL right now when I'm a size S. Yeah, so hey. Don't you think I could fit in there too? Besides, you're wearing my t-shirt, so technically I would be the rightful owner and you would be the one who's, yeah, getting under my shirt. So, mm, the logic prevails. <laughs> oh, mm. I don't know. I just... I just want to feel your warmth. 
Um, okay, yeah, maybe I want to feel some of your skin too, but you know. Um, I love you. Hey. No, I don't need to be tired out. You're just trying to get in my pants. No, uh. It's 3 a.m., baby. We should both be sleeping. But can I get under your t-shirt? I mean, it's actually my t-shirt, but, you know, you're wearing it, so. But, you know, what's mine is yours. So, yeah. You know, I totally don't mind you wearing my t-shirts. You, you let me wear yours. So it's like a, it's like a, um, uh, a fair trade, kind of. <laughs> well, granted, I'm not wearing a shirt right now. But if I, if I was, then I would be wearing your shirt. Because they're super soft. Yeah. Most of your shirt is like cotton. Mine is like polyester, you know? I mean, it's good for the hot weather and everything, but when I'm at home and everything, like, I mean, yeah, it's good for the hot weather and everything, but when I'm at home, I just want to like wear something soft so I can feel cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm getting inside your shirt because mm. Mm. wow nipples <laughs> no I'm not gonna do anything to them oh, oh you'd know that wouldn't you no it's 3am okay for the third time we both have to be asleep right now but maybe just a kiss <laughs> mm. It tickles, huh? <laughs> mm. God, I love your body. <laughs> well, I I love you and your body. You know. Yeah, it's like. A uh, two in one deal. Mm. Mm. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna just fall asleep on your chest. Mm. Baby, promise me. Promise me you won't ever turn into an undead zombie who wants to turn me into an undead zombie because you got possessed by a demon. Mm. Thank you. Also, don't do nothing like... Also, don't be dumb and open a creepy book that you found in some abandoned... Vault. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's... I mean, I get that we are the young couple and whatever, but we don't have to be the stupid teens in horror movies, right? <laughs> yeah. N to be fair, I think I would be the stupid teen in a horror movie, yeah. Because I'd be like, oh my god, ghosts aren't real. And then, boom. Ghosts come get me. And I'm like, oh my god, ghosts are real. But I learned my lesson too late. And then I and just, yeah. I'm the dumb kid in the horror movie. Who messes with things he's not supposed to. Yeah, mm, that is me. <laughs> but you love me. And I love you. I think you'd be... You'd be the smart one. But you won't survive. Because smart characters don't survive. 
Mm -hmm. It's always some, like, it's always the people who you think should survive the most. And they get up, get up to the final moment and then they, they don't, you know. Yeah, they're either like, you know, it's usually like they sacrifice themselves for the main character. And then they go out honorably. That's you. That's you. You would try to... You would sacrifice yourself to save me. And then I would do something dumb. And, and then I would... <laughs> yeah. So at least we'd be in heaven together. So... Mm. Mm, baby. I feel safe now now that you're holding me so I think I'm ready to doze off mm, mm. good night baby I'm so sorry for waking you up okay good night I love you very much Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. mm.